2023, a significant shift in the dynamics between the Persian Gulf and Central Asian states began, focusing on diversifying investments beyond oil and gas. Saudi Arabian and United Arab Emirates ministers visited Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan, sparking discussions on new collaborative ventures. This influx of interest from wealthy Gulf monarchies into landlocked Central Asia stirred optimism for increased investment in infrastructure projects. Simultaneously, the Russo-Ukraine conflict weakened Russia's influence in Central Asia, historically considered its sphere of control. This prompted non-regional players like the Gulf states, the United States, Turkey and the European Union to seek a lasting presence in the energy-rich region. Disruptions to traditional Russian supply chains and trade routes coupled with around 1 million Russians passing through Central Asia in 2022 to avoid conscription or anti-war persecution, led Central Asian governments to reassess their ties with Russia and explore alternative partnerships. Central Asia, abundant in crucial energy resources like hydrocarbons and rare earth elements, holds a pivotal role in the global shift towards green energy. The region's wealth of resources has elevated the C5 nation's importance in 21st century energy development, making Central Asia a focal point in the competition among major powers due to its strategic location at the heart of the Eurasian landmass. A notable development occurred on March 15, 2024, when Kazakh President Kasim Jamat Tokayev visited Doha to emphasize Kazakhstan's readiness to boost exports to Qatar across 60 non-resource commodities valued at $250 million. Additionally, he proposed ramping up mutual trade to $500 million in the near future. This visit, coinciding with 30 years of diplomatic ties between the two countries, demonstrated Kazakhstan's dedication to expanding its relations with Gulf states. The growing interest of Gulf Cooperation Council countries in Central Asia is partly aimed at containing regional rivals, particularly Iran and Turkey. Iran, sharing borders with several Central Asian states, serves as a natural geographical link between the region and the Indian Ocean and the Gulf. After the US withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Iran and Tajikistan engaged in extensive diplomacy, resulting in significant expansion in military and defense cooperation. The US, EU and Turkey are keen on maintaining a lasting presence in the region by forging robust economic partnerships with regional states and participating in large-scale infrastructure projects. The increasing interest of wealthy and economically advanced Gulf states in Central Asia goes beyond strategic considerations. It reflects their eagerness to invest in the green energy sector, which aligns well with the energy potential of the region, notably in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. In 2023, Saudi Arabia's ACWA power committed a significant 13.5 billion investment in clean energy sectors in both countries. Similarly, the UAE's Mazdar has made substantial investments in Uzbekistan's solar and wind energy sectors, resulting in a combined annual production capacity of nearly one gigawatt. This renewed focus on regional engagement coincides with the implementation of economic reforms and a more open foreign policy by new leaders in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. There is growing recognition that many challenges faced by Central Asian countries, such as water security and transit logistics, require transnational solutions. In response to the interest shown by Gulf states, Central Asian leaders have visited the region since February 2022, with some presidents also attending international conferences in Saudi Arabia over the past two years. Engaging with various non-regional actors allows Central Asian states to participate in larger projects without being solely reliant on China or Russia. The partnership model of the Gulf Cooperation Council appears promising as it offers opportunities without imposing limitations on regional countries. As a result, it is probable that the Gulf Cooperation Council will aim to double trade turnover with Central Asia in the coming years to establish a lasting presence and expand their geopolitical influence in the region.